All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan, and just got a quick follow-on tutorial to show you how to use ZOA in standalone mode. This one's, this one's gonna be really quick just to get you started. And I'm gonna use uh, the free app Synth1 by AudioKit. It's a really fun free app, it sounds great, and I just want to get uh, kind of a nice uh, dark sound selected here. Ooh, CS80 Dark Brass, let's try that. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and launch ZOA. Now, one thing I'm going to do though is I want to make sure that the app stays on and the background audio is on. So in the MIDI settings, I'm going to try to enable those. And let's head over to ZOA. Now, in order to set up our connections, I'm gonna tap on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. And I'm gonna tap on any of the outputs I want to assign. I'm gonna say all outs here. And I'm gonna send my MIDI to AudioKit Synth1. And it should be just as easy as that. Maybe let me Decrease the tempo here, which I can do just by dragging. And let's get some rhythmic stuff going on. Let's make the notes longer. And let's hit play. Okay, let's check and see what's going on in audio kit. <laughs> So that just gives you a quick idea of how to use it with another app on your iOS device in standalone mode. And again, we have you know separate outputs available to us that we can use. We have this uh, use virtual output switch that you know you may need to kind of experiment with that, see how that works. Uh, you you know if you're getting like duplicate messages being sent, then you may want to disable the virtual outs. Uh, you also have, you know, MIDI input sources you can use, so be sure to try those out. We have external clock sync, and we can do channel filtering as well. And you got Ableton Link, and you got Bluetooth MIDI devices. So just make sure you check all of that out, and uh, hope you have fun with ZOA, using it to make some interesting music.